I remember that was your first place, and that's that's actually where. How could I? You know why I I know why I blocked it out because you're old. Nope. Why? I blocked it out. That's where we watched Boyhood. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. You can see us, of course, film Rick. Stupid. It is. Uh, That's where we watched Boyhood. That is, that is and I blocked that out of my mind. It's one of the worst experiences of my life. Where we watched Boyhood. Uh, today, uh, we're doing a, I think it's a poem. A poem? Like a, a spoken word kind of deal? Is it Kalki? Because she does that. Shut up. Poetry. What happens when you don't like sex? That's, I'm so Say this sad name? for you. Sridi Ja. This is actually an asexual person. Yeah, well, I, I, that's I, understandable. Yeah. That um, exists. There are people who are asexual. Yeah, and so that's, uh, they don't have a sexual drive in them. And so they don't yep. have that need at for all. it in their relationship. At all. Um, yeah. Which, obviously, to, to people that, that aren't asexual, obviously, is, is a completely foreign concept. Absolutely. Um, and so it's a very misunderstood uh, uh, thing that, that, people, that people have, that they can be in a relationship and there isn't that physical need, if they're both asexual people, physical need. Yep. Um, but and it can obviously happen for many, many reasons. Um, but read this. You can feel all the butterflies and your heart skip a beat for someone. And yet you not want to do it. Does that make your love any less? Does that make you incomplete? Confessions of an Asexual Romantic. What a great title. By Shriti Ja is about choosing to love in a way that makes you happy just as much as the other person. Mm -hmm. And what better way to do it than breaking into a song. I agree. Shriti Ja is one of the most popular Indian television actresses along with being an award winning actress. She's also a critically acclaimed poet. And I'm I'm guessing cool. from this she's legitimately talking about asexual. the fact that she's asexual. I know. I, Which, I know. I, I I personally know an asexual person. I have quite a few friends actually. Yeah, that definitively asexual. fall into the category of being an asexual person. They have no desire for sexual intimacy at all. Yeah. Uh, but that but I, I mean, the answer I think is unequivocally. Of course, somebody can love someone without having. It's their it's, choice it's, and it's, yeah, their, it's, what's it's, their, it's their body if they don't have desire let, they don't have to do yeah, the, 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 the lie that, that love has to have some sexual connotation with it to be love is, is not since it's just something people don't understand people make all these kind of excuses of like you just haven't found the right person no which, it's BS yeah, it's, it's same thing with people like for people that are LGBTQ they're like oh you, you just need a good dick yeah, people like it's so ridiculous. Yeah. People that just they don't understand something, and so they just. Come I thought say you know from stupid the stupid things from the title it says what happens when you don't like sex. There are people who have triggers and traumas in their life that mm -hmm. cause them to be that way that that's actually true. should, but that's not what we're talking about no. when we talk about an asexual person. If if I asked you why do you need need or want sex? You can't put it to words, I know, and that ineffable reason, that's how I know I don't want sex for sure. That was great. That was a great poem. That was really one of the most... They told me I haven't found the right one yet. Hmm. Well, honestly, as of yet, I have found the right few. And I'm going to tell you those stories, and then you'll find some things old and some things new. Let's go back to the start. The very first time I fell in love, things were said and rules were laid. Holding hands and flirting was all right. Anything beyond that would not be okay. So the problem was that I went beyond and kissed. The very first time I was kissed and I, I was kissed back, it was a discovery. It was the closest to magic I had ever felt, so the best kisser I was going to be. I learned new meanings of forever. I learned to hope for again and better. But then I couldn't catch up in rhythm or in rhyme as a cosmic alarm went off and everybody was ready for their first time. I've, I must have missed the alarm because I'm a late sleeper. <laughs> I wasn't ready or even eager, but when they spoke of it, I joined in with equal vigor. Mm. I kept falling in love, sometimes better, other times worse, but it was never on my mind and that seemed to be my curse. So I kept avoiding it, eventually I did it, but it, it didn't seem mean, meant to be. Every time it happened, I knew I wasn't really being me. So I told my friends and a problem with me was diagnosed. A lot was said, a lot was done, 
Books were read, new boys were met, but problem remained solved by none. Finally, I was relieved when they wrote chants of no means, no means, no means, no. Hmm. But when I said no and I meant no, they said, you've got to try a little more. Hmm. Are, thodi koshish to karo. How could you not? Why would you not? No, you do. You don't know how. I'll teach you. I'll show you. Oh my God, you've never felt wow. But I had felt wow. I had felt wow in hugs and in kisses. I had felt wow every time fingers had run through my tresses. Nice. But beyond a point when it went, I was left all alone. So I learned to lie in words and in moons. Mm. I learned to lie because I didn't want to hurt. I didn't want to lose. And I was in love. Who was I to choose? Who was I to choose? Who had... Who was I to choose me, who had none alike? Who was I to choose me, who had lost at love's every strike? And this was the time when everybody was talking about sex, learning and teaching consent, and I had no one except for my discontent. Nice. And this is not bashing my lovers, they were great. This is not bashing my lovers or even my friends. They were taking care of me, keeping the bargain at their end. This is not bashing sex either. This is not to prove me greater. I do not celebrate celibacy. I am not a sex hater. Mm. And sex haters, you think just the favorite child is the asexual kind? Go out with the boys or the girls. Your parents never really mind. True. But for that to happen, you have to come out. And we are the only ones who have to use the word sex and not love to come out. You see the irony there, I'm sure, without a doubt. Mm. But what must be done, must be done. I've found a way to make this a little easy. And as I go ahead, I know I might sound cheesy. They say you don't stutter when you're singing a song. And as I go ahead, I hope you'll sing along. I am asexual. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Yeah. yeah. I am everything I need you. Better recognize me now. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> There's another song. There's another song that has the phrase cardboard cutout sex appeal. And I always misheard it as carpal tunnel sex appeal. Because for me, it was about holding hands, holding hands to the point of chronic muscle ache. I didn't know picking my way to love was such a terrible mistake. Mm. I have to paraphrase songs. I have to paraphrase songs to tell you I feel all of it. The butterflies and the bees in my very stomach spit. And if, if I asked you why do you need, need or want sex, you can't put it to words I know. And that ineffable reason, that's how I know I don't want sex for sure. And I'm not incomplete or in, in any way less. I am complete but confused. Isn't that such a beautiful mess? And I am broken, imperfect, but that needs mending of a different kind. Don't tell me who I am. Do not try to change my mind. Last but not the least in LGBTQIA, an asexual and an ally each and every single way. And as hmm. I come here on this very special day, I'll sing one more time and I hope you'll sing along with me. When I say, I am asexual. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the only one. Yeah, yeah. I am everything. I need you better. Recognize me now. Thank hey, you. Great. <laughs> what a great, it was a great poem. Yeah, very, poem. very well done. Great poem. Um, yeah, it was beautifully, beautifully articulated. I, I, I loved it. I did too. Sad and poignant and wonderful and. And happy for her. Yeah, um, as well. Happy for her because she seems to be completely at peace. And after a season of what's wrong with me, what's wrong with me, of recognizing there's nothing wrong with me, I'm asexual. Yeah. And and because of that, I'm okay with that. And there's probably a whole lot of folks. There's probably a. There's probably a lot more. Than there's probably a lot of men. married couples mm -hmm. who one of the spouses is asexual. Mm -hmm. But they're not, they're not aware of it and they're not talking about it because it's such a problem for them because it's interfering with the relationship because one of them is wanting sex and that's a very different th If you don't know what asexuality is, you should, you should really look it up because it is a definitive condition that somebody has that is the makeup of who they are. They do not care at all in the way that like a child doesn't compute. 
mm-hmm. that concept. That's like not in their radar in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. And I, I applaud her for being both brave about sharing it as as well as clearly being at peace about it for herself. Yeah. It's really good. And it was just a really good poem yeah. as well. So yeah, that was fantastic. Let us know more from her and other poems. We've heard some really good poems. Yeah, uh, love poetry. But yeah, poetry is a, a, a wonderful art form. Uh, so please let us know more that we can react to down below. Just-